Holly. I'm a D2 at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, and I am a member of SNDA. And I've been working at a pediatric dental office, and it's been a really amazing experience. Um, I think something I've really learned is how much patience pediatric dentistry takes. Um, the doctor that I've been shadowing works a lot with special needs uh, patients, and it's just really, really cool and very inspiring to see how much patience the doctor has and um, just the really cool techniques he uses to um, deal with children patients rather than adult patients, like certain terminology he'll use to make children feel more comfortable in the dental chair and just make sure they know that they're there to help even if the kid's a little scared. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to keep working there and keep learning and uh, keep experiencing what a pediatric dental office is like. Hey guys, my name is Bria and I am a D2 at the University of Michigan and currently I'm working in a pediatric office. So as a your dentist, I think it's so important to learn every aspect of every job that it takes in order to run a practice smoothly. So I'm so glad that I'm getting this opportunity to learn as much as I can so it can better help me prepare for my future. So Dr. Boyden, what is pediatric dentistry? Pediatric dentistry is, um, it's pretty simple. Pediatric means children and dentistry is tooth stuff. So it means uh, we teach children to be dentists. Uh, we take a bunch of toddlers, preschoolers, we give them drills, and then they go <laughs> become dentists. Uh, they drill on people, that's, what, that's pediatric dentists. That's what, that's what we do. We train dentists to be dentists. No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> pediatric dentistry is uh, is a specialty or, or something that's very specific in dentistry that only focuses on children. We focus on their oral health. We focus on making them healthy and making them able to pay attention at school mm -hmm. and be able to sleep through the night without a toothache and without abscesses and pus in their mouth and all that bad stuff that happens when, when kids get cavities. So. So I think I have the best job in the world. Pediatric dentistry by far is the best job in the world because we get to make children healthy. Awesome, awesome. So why do you love pediatric dentistry and what made you go into it specifically? Yeah, <laughs> so when I was nine years old, I, I, grew up, I grew up in a really tiny town in Michigan called Bad Axe. Shout out to Bad Axe. <laughs> uh, A-X-E, Bad mm -hmm. Axe. Let me oh, pronounce axe. that. Yeah, there we go. And it's a real tiny town. It's... Uh, <laughs> I was uh, riding my bike home from, from school and uh, I was riding my bike and my best friend in the whole wide world uh, a pair of drumsticks in his book bag and you know not chicken but like actual percussion mm -hmm. drumsticks and he did what children nine years old do uh, he decided to go like this with his book bag and whipped it at my head oh, no. and I was riding my bike right mm -hmm. so I ducked but my bike didn't have any padding on the crossbar. So this tooth got cut off right at the gum line when I was nine years old. Uh, and I, I, I remember crying, going to my mom, oh God, the blood coming out of my mouth. Uh, and, uh, and we went to a dentist and then we went to another dentist and then we stayed with that dentist for forever i spent so much time in the dental office because i needed a root canal and a crown and this mm -hmm. tooth got fractured and um and during all these procedures when i was nine years old i remember looking up at my dentist as a nine-year-old and saying when i grow up i'm gonna learn how to do this better than you uh, but ever since then i was focused on becoming a children's dentist because my wow. dentist uh, my dentist was great when i was a kid mm -hmm. um, but i still wanted to learn how to do it better and i uh, Went to you know high school. Had to study hard in high school to do uh, to get into college, and I got into college, and I had to do well there to get into dental school, and I had to do well mm -hmm. in dental school to get into a pediatric dentistry specialty training program, and uh, and then I got in, and you know I I would have gone to the moon if if it meant I could help kids, and wow. uh, uh, and I was fortunate to get in, and I learned how to become a pediatric dentist. And, uh, and now I practice here in Michigan and I'm a teacher and I teach other dentists how to care for children. That is awesome. What has been one of your top experiences now that you are a pediatric dentist? Children come in with a toothache and you got a little three-year-old or a four-year-old or even sometimes younger kids who can't even talk and, and they're just crying and they're pointing at their mouth like that. 
uh, they, they're unable to express what they're feeling, but you can tell that something is wrong. Mm. And, uh, and their parents bring them in, and I'm able to, uh, to do an examination on the child, find out what's wrong, and then fix it. And then after uh, you know, that abscess tooth is wiggled out, uh, or the cavity is fixed, or, um, or, or the root canal is done on the kid who uh, has trauma to the, uh, to the dentition, to the teeth, uh, I know I've made a real difference in that child's life. And that's the coolest thing in the world, to, to take a, a, a child and make that child more healthy. So I get to do that every day. That's a highlight I never get tired of. So I know that some people believe, why do I need to take care of baby teeth? They just fall out. Could you explain why it is important to take care of those teeth that fall out? Yeah. The important is that underneath the baby tooth, in your jaw, like underneath your gums, there's a permanent tooth that's kind of growing like a seed underneath the soil. And uh, just like a seed, if you want to grow a sunflower, the sunflower uh, from seed to beautiful six foot tall flower, it needs sunlight and it needs water and needs care. Um, those permanent teeth that are growing in your jaw, you can't see them. We can see them with x-rays, but you can't see them with your eyes. Those teeth uh, require care too. Um, they don't require sunlight and they don't require <laughs> water, but they do require the, per the baby tooth on top of the, that permanent tooth to be healthy. So mm. by taking care of the baby teeth, it also helps those permanent teeth, which are just little vulnerable seeds that are gonna sprout into beautiful teeth that come in when you're in middle school. It helps those teeth grow in stronger. That is great. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna ask one more question. How long does it take to get into, oh, how long does it take to become a pediatric dentist? What most people do is after high school, they go to college. Um, and after college, they go to dental school and dental schools four years and and then after dental school then uh, you get specialty trained in pediatric dentistry which is another two to three years after that it's going to take 10 years after high school to become a pediatric dentist and that sounds long and it sounds like I don't want 10 years that's forever so even though it takes a long time to become a doctor or a long time to become a dentist, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't think about doing it because that process is always worth it. And the future's coming no matter what. So you might as well be a doctor when it gets here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all that you've given to us in this great video, Dr. Boyden. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure.